Windows 7 and show off Windows 7 to family and friends. And so we thought it was very fitting for us to have a launch party of our own um, here in um, New York. Well, one of my favorite guests who is here today um, amongst all of us is uh, Kylie. And we came to know Kylie, uh, who is a PC savvy then four-year-old uh, through one of our favorite on a PC um, TV spots. So please help me in extending a very warm welcome to Kylie. Important update. How old are you now? Five and a half. Five and a half. Perfect. Perfect. Are you having a good time in New York? Yeah. Are you? What have you done? I've gone to the ferry on the Statue of Liberty. The ferry on the Statue of Liberty. That is fabulous. Okay, so I've been told that you have a really important job to do here today. Did you know that? Did they tell you that? Okay, are you ready to do that really important job? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to leave you up here to do the really important job and let you focus on that. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, you have a great time doing it, okay? All right. This is my left. This is my right. <laughs> I'm PC, and here's Steve Ballmer. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Last night, Kylie and I were talking, and you thought Last you might night, get... You, oh, this morning, it was just this morning, wasn't it? You were late. I was late. <laughs> I was late. I was late. Yeah, that was a busy late. airport. I think the president was here yesterday. It was crowded. It was, There's it was. Holes in the airport. Ooh, it wasn't that? Yeah. Hey, but you were asking about presents, and you thought you might get an empty bottle, you told me. <laughs> or or something else. How about we give you a PC. pink PC for Kylie? See, I'm going to show you, Daddy. Kylie's got a new you. PC. Thank you. Kylie. Kylie. Kylie sure has done a good job in those commercials, and I'm very thankful for that. And hey, Kylie, Kylie, thanks for the pointers on how to use Windows Live, okay? Thanks. Uh, it is a great honor and privilege for me to have a chance to be here today. Uh, I'm an enthusiastic personality, I think. I, I get a little fired up about things, and I'll tell you, there's not much that gets me more fired up than the chance to start selling, delivering, and letting customers enjoy Windows 7. So today, Windows 7 is available, 45,000 stores around the world. It's available on new PCs, the upgrade is available, and it's just out there for all to, to start, hopefully, to appreciate and enjoy as much as our 8 million beta testers have done. So today I get to say not only that I'm Steve Ballmer and I'm a PC, but I'm Steve Ballmer and I'm a Windows 7 PC effective immediately. What is Windows 7 at the end of the day? What were we really most trying to do? We were trying to make the everyday usage of the PC better in the ways our customers wanted. Simpler, faster, more responsive. And so for the billion people who use Windows, for the perhaps as many as 300 million people who may buy a PC during the course of the next 12 months, we want to give a chance for people to have the better and better experience and at the same time enable a world of new opportunities, new applications to do new things that you're going to have a chance to see and, and uh, witness uh, as you're here with us today. What's special about Windows 7 and the way it came together and why I think we have, we have a little extra special secret sauce somehow 
in the, in the making of Windows 7. And it really came about from an intense collaboration between our own engineering organization and our partners, a group of about 50,000 partners, software vendors, hardware vendors, peripheral vendors, and our customers. And our customers. Whether it's all of the data that we get back from customers about how they're using Windows and what they'd like to see different and improved, whether it's the feedback we got from the 8 million beta test customers, all of that came together in a very unique blend. 3,000 world-class engineers at Microsoft, 50,000 partners with up to the ump engineers there, and then the 8 million customers. And the 8 million customers were people from all around the world, 200 countries. You had teachers, small business owners, soccer moms, you had people stretching, if you will, from grandparents to gamers, people stretching from Australia to Iceland, across the planet, feedback coming in from people in all walks of life, really helping us think about and, and improve and make Windows 7 and Windows 7 PCs what our customers, I think, will really, really want. One of the favorite things that the development team did during the course of building Windows 7 is create this thing in, in one of the, the R&D buildings that they called the wishing wall. And on the wishing wall, they collected and put up just a ton of customer feedback, things that they called technical feedback, emotional feedback, to try to really bring alive in the physical world all of that information that we were getting back in the virtual world to help us tune the product. And so to all of our customers who participated in giving us that input and feedback, uh, I really want to have a chance to thank the, the beta test customers. And I want to thank all of our Windows users. Uh, as we've gone over the last several years, and literally hundreds of millions of new people have bought new PCs with Windows Vista and Windows XP, they've given us a lot of feedback that has allowed us to build a product that I think takes things really to a very, very new level. I talked about simplicity, but I want to give you a little bit broader characterization of Windows 7 overall. I think of Windows 7 in three major buckets. Number one, it works the way you want to work. You want that computer to fire up quickly, boom. You want it to feel responsive, boom. You want longer battery life, boom. We needed to make those things work, simpler, faster, more responsive, leaner, less busy. And I think we've accomplished that with Windows 7. Number two, the things that you do all the time need to be simpler. You want to manage the windows on your desktop. You want to find the documents you most frequently use. Just let's make that stuff super, super simple. And then number three, Let's enable a world of new things, new possibilities for software developers and hardware developers and for end users. So you get a technology like multi-touch, which enables people to build new computers and new software. You get literally, I would say, from an end user perspective, dozens or hundreds of new features. And our experience throughout the beta test program is that everybody finds their own unique set of features to fall in love with. A road warrior like me, I love the new wireless networking. Media lovers like my, my three teenage sons, well, one of them's a little younger than that, my three sons, they really love the home group features. And everybody finds, from an end user perspective, the things that delight them, and we've enabled the whole new world of possibility for the hardware and software community. And I think that forms kind of the essence of what Windows needs to be. Windows needs to be an incredible opportunity for innovation, for hardware companies, software companies, and it needs to be a place that is simple and easy to use and opens up the world of diverse innovation for the end user in a way that is manageable and consumable by, by billions of people around the world. Windows 
this then takes us a step closer to the vision that we articulate that focuses in around three different screen sizes, PC, phone, and TV, all connected and communicating across the, the cloud, the internet backbone. We launched a new generation of Windows phones a few weeks ago. Today you'll see how that connects in and fits in the Windows 7 environment. We'll show you new approaches today to use Windows uh, 7 PCs to power scenarios that are entertaining, that run on your television set. And so we continue to move down this path of allowing the intelligence and information that you expect to be across all of the devices in your world, at home and at work, giving you the information, the entertainment, and the socialization in addition to the productivity that you would expect. We'll have a chance to show you some of how this comes together uh, in just a minute as Brad Brooks starts his demo. Today is a, a very good day, but the center, I think, of the day is really the product itself. And so what I'd like to do now is to invite up on stage Brad Brooks, Vice President from our Windows Marketing Group. And Brad's going to give you a fairly extensive walkthrough the product that is Windows 7 and some of the new Windows 7 PCs. Thanks. All right. Good morning, everyone. Who wants to see a little bit of Windows 7? All right. I have got a demo here that I like to call the seven wonders of Windows 7 with Windows Live. As Steve pointed out, everybody's got their favorite few features. I've got mine. And I like to put together a little story about how Windows 7 really does simplify your PC by making everyday tasks easier, making it work the way you want it to and expect it to, and bringing a few new things possible. So let's start off with a couple of wonders about things that people do really every day. I know all of you like to take pictures in this room. And sometimes pictures haven't been as easy to take them off that camera and use them the way you want to on a PC. With Windows 7, we're making it a whole lot simpler. So I've got this new Nikon D5000 DSLR camera, and it's got a new capability that device manufacturers are building into their devices today for Windows 7 called Device Stage. You see, I just turned on the camera, and look what popped up on the taskbar here. It's a picture of that Nikon camera. I go ahead and open it up, and this rich UI just pops up. No additional software loading on. It's a rich experience that has this Nikon uh, picture built into it and a number of options and services that I can immediately start working with on this camera. Let's go ahead and snap it over here. One of the options here is import pictures. We took a few pictures of you as you were coming walking in, so I'm going to import those and select well, And as you see, it pops up the Windows Live Photo Gallery immediately as I bring these things in. Now I can go ahead and select off a number of pictures in Windows Live Photo Gallery, go up to Make, and click on Make a Movie. And what pops up here is the new Windows Live Movie Maker. Now this just came out at the end of August, and there is now no more simpler or faster way in any type of PC experience to make your movies than with Windows Live Movie Maker. Let me show you how simple it is. I just imported those pictures from the camera. Go ahead and hit that music. And hit the auto movie button. Boom. That quick. I've already put together my pictures and my music into the format for my Windows Live movie. Now I can easily take animations on the fly, test them out, select one. I can go and with one click, I can post it up to YouTube. I can make it into a high definition format that works great on high definition screens. I can shrink it down and send it off into an email to my friends and family. There you go. Within less than two minutes, taking them right off to a device, importing them right in, making a movie with Windows Live Movie Maker. It really is that simple with Windows 7 and Windows Live Movie Maker working together. So, those are two cool wonders, making everyday life easier. But I will also tell you that Windows 7 has some wonders that are really going to start blurring the lines between how you think about a PC or a TV. What is it anymore? And with Windows 7, well, 
we're going to change that experience in the way everybody thinks about it. And no better way than to come right over to this new HP IQ 300. It's a beautiful high definition television set, don't you think? But wait, is it really a high definition TV? Because can you do that with a high definition TV? That's multi touch with Windows 7 working. And multi touch is a great platform, but it's also going to revolutionize how you think about your TV experience with Windows 7. And to show that off, why don't we bring back one of my personal favorite features over the last couple of years, and that's Windows Media Center. Now, we've had this for a couple of years, and we originally created the UI to be a great experience at 10 foot with a remote control uh, that you can use from your couch. But what we also found is it is a great touch experience as well. Look it, I would just touch the finger, I can start rolling through all my content sources. I can click on TV, I can open up the guide, and I can just start with finger flicking through my guide that easy. I can pick show. I can sit, set up Price is Right, start recording it. And that easy. I've got my broadcast TV right there with a touch of a finger. But what's also great about this is I can either get a PC like this all in one with a tuner built into it, or I can get one of these little USB tuners now that are coming out with Windows 7. For less than 100 bucks, I can now get all my high definition television over the air. They also come with uh, uh, QAM capability and tuner cards to uh, pull off your cable box so you can get your broadcast content right from your table box and hook that up to any Windows 7 PC, whether it has a tuner in it or not. But we've also done something different with this version of Media Center with Windows 7. And we brought in some new things into your guide. So if I go up to the top of my guide, I see these content channels now, not just my over-the-air channels. And I go ahead and click on one of these from CBS. Oh, I think I loaded up there. Announcing today for the first time with CBS and their CBS, their new CBS audience network. If they created a great interactive internet television experience. Now with Windows 7 and CBS, I can get any of their primetime content, like the latest NCIS show. And with a click of a finger, I can start playing it that easy. All I need is a broadband connection. Don't even need a tuner now with Windows 7 and a media center. All integrated together to really bring the, the experience of TV, whether it be broadcast or over the internet, to your fingertips. And the other thing about Windows is it's a platform. It's a platform that's built around great ecosystem partners like CBS. You notice it threw out the commercial there. Well, our content partners need to get paid for. And so they can use this platform to get a great monetization business model and deliver high definition streaming right to anybody's Windows 7 PC. That easy. That's Windows 7 TV experience working the way you want it to. But you know what? It's not just about great TV, whether it's interactive TV over the internet or whether it's broadcast television with Windows 7. It's also about any types of content on demand and rich application experiences that really bring that to life um, in a touch environment. And one of our great partners is Netflix. And now with the touch of a finger in the media center, I can actually guide through literally their catalog of thousands of movies. And as we all know with Netflix, I can start streaming it right on demand. Now, the interesting thing is we all know that we've done some work uh, with Netflix on the Xbox. I actually started watching Caddyshack. Yes, it is one of my favorite movies. I started watching Caddyshack back in Washington uh, a couple of days ago before I flew out. Now, I can start picking up where I left off on that movie with the Netflix service, but again, it just shows you the versatility of what's coming together with Windows 7 and your TV experiences on any 